Dave. Recording right now, Sue. We're recording now, Sue. I just put the record button. We are looking around, ladies and gentlemen, looking for content, seeing what we what we like, what we don't like. You know what I mean? Where are the eye? Carry the one? Yes. Uh. A Veda Cadaver. I like the way that grenade looks. So I might have to pick that up. That that grenade. Vault symbol, where is it? Alright. Alright. Big bastard, wasn't he? Nicely done. Keep an eye out for that creepy red one. I don't want to get interrupted. Wait. What? That's it? That little thing. The hell did... I'm gonna kill them all! Oh, first, you're gonna find me a doctor. Then we're gonna wipe those bandit bastards off the face of Pandora. And then, then we're gonna wake the warrior. The what? It's gonna be so good. We're gonna scorch the freaking planet in fire. There's gonna be screaming. Bandits are gonna die left and right. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> and that is when the hero who saved us on Helios died. That was when I left Handsome Jack's employ. You regret teaming up with Jack? Yes. Now do what you will. Kill her. What? No! If it weren't for people like her, our friends might still be alive. Ready? This ain't us, Lil. This ain't you! Fire! What the hell? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The ending to the pre-sequel. That story was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Loved it. Loved every moment. It went down. The pre-sequel with the Yad Gang holding it down. It was a very good story. 
and, and throughout the game the story was eh, you know what I mean it didn't really give too much but then at the end he made up for like the whole game basically great ending leading up to part two which we about to play and we about to hold this down yeah gang is in here ladies and gentlemen let's celebrate this victory I didn't get to do all the side missions so apparently we couldn't get them done all but uh, we finished the gameplay that's all that mattered I'm not trying to go back in the game and look for tedious side quests. I might, I don't know, let's see. Let's see how the Yacht Gang feels. But uh, I think we might even move on to the next stage. But yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ending the game. Holding it down. So what you guys thought, man? I'm still confused about a couple things because maybe because I haven't played each of them like in a long time like you know what I'm saying except this one I never played the first time I played this one but from what I gather from part one this leads after part one and a little before part two or this is like after am I right? Man, no hunting is no more, so that was after part one. So then leading into part two, this is like the in-between of Jack just uprising and then part two you get Jack as a psychopath. You know what I'm saying? But she was already a psychopath from the jump. From what I'm gathering, why he he was yeah, I did play part two, I beat part two, it was an amazing game. Yeah, most definitely. So, I guess part three is gonna lead off. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it for the fans anyway. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that after we do part two. We're gonna come up with assumptions of what's gonna happen for part three. If there's gonna be a part three. Because Gearbox is actually working on another game. Uh, a first person shooter uh, mobile game. I wish them luck on that, but I, I, I hope that the people who did this game, hopefully they continue to do more games like for Borderlands, maybe a part three, but I doubt it Gearbox is just gonna leave it in their hands. This is just like an experiment to see if these guys will do well. I think they did tremendously well. The guys that did this game, because Gearbox didn't do this game, from what I gather. It was another team. I think it was like, uh, I'm not really sure, but I know Gearbox themselves like had a separate team doing this game and they didn't focus on this game, they focused on the, the other game. That other, that MOBA game, you know what I'm saying? What happened, Ganryl? Uh. Um, yeah, briefly. Um, no, he was in this game in particular, briefly. Yeah. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, should we do the DLC for this game? Yeah, before we jump into part two. Really? Nah, I love Claptrap, so I have a problem with it. 
Yeah, we should do that before we jump into part two, right? Because that's going to unravel more of the story. Right? So we got to do the five minutes on the clock. All right, yeah, so we, so the hollow, we got to do the hollow jump to level up, you mean? It'll help us survive the clap chop thing? I think, I, I think we'll actually be all right. We're, we're what? Level 28? To my recollection, I'm not, I'm not really sure. We're... I think if we finish one mission, we should be like 29 going on 30. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be that difficult. I say go for it, man. Give us a challenge, no? Because the flat trap thing is set tough. When um when I last looked on the on the on the mission. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm still in the credits because um, I'm trying to let the time run out so that we could talk about and discuss what we're going to do in our next outing. And we're still on a timer, you know what I'm saying? Then after after the timer kicks off, then we're just gonna get right into it. You know what I mean? But I want to get right into it, then load into the actual game before we do it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the yak is very good tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to sign up to be a Yak Gang member. You got to go through the interview process again, real. And um, hopefully you guys succeed. You know what I'm saying? Got to wear a Yak Gang bracelet, tank top with no socks, and um, pink shorts. Um, Gander is requesting Power Ranger pajamas and um, a bucket of steam. Don't bring, don't bring none of that Blue Ranger stuff that, you know, he's a big fan of the Pink Ranger. Um, also, man, he, he doesn't drink coffee, he drinks chocolate milk and he likes it hot. So when you come to the interview, you know, bring it hot, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you can boil it at, put it in the microwave or something. Yeah, man, and um, good luck on your interview process, man. I heard it was, it was ruthless, you know, it was like an ordeal, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's worse than have, applying for a job at Apple, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, we're still recording, man. We're still on the clock. The thing is loading up. We in here, Yak Gang, baby, salute to the Yak Gang members, my boy Deacon the Dev. Hala Ventisiete, um, Dominican Thug, um, Navy 980, Daniel and his orphan brothers, um, my man J Dub, Sue Dressel in the building. There's a lot of other shout outs I gotta shout out, man. Um, King Mo. Um, the whole Zulu nation, um, FTW squad, 174, 173rd, OF Freeman, I'll let your boy, Freeman Street General. Any shout outs you want, you guys want to give out? Since you guys can't talk, you want me to shout somebody out? 
Uh, Susei wants to shout out my cat. 